Hello you guys, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. It's really simple to do. It's nothing but a bunch of lines going side to side and up and down. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to choose your background color. As a background color I chose red. Apart from the background color you're going to need a white and a black. So let's get started. You're going to start with your, with your nail. You already have your hydrating base coat. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a French manicure. But our French manicure is going to be a low French manicure and it's going to be straight side to side. So let's get started. I chose a red color like I said and it's not a re really bright red. It's just a sort of like a muted red color. So I'm going to start and I'm going to go um, pretty low. So I'm just going to go straight. I don't, I don't want smiley lines. I just want it to go straight side to side. Yeah. That's all we're doing. We're doing a straight French manicure. And your lines don't have to be perfectly straight. So we've done a straight low French manicure. And I suppose it's not very important if it's perfectly straight or not uh, because we're going to be covering it with the stones later on. Unless you're not going to want to use the stones then it's better that it is uh, a little bit more straight. So what you're going to do is you're going to allow this to completely dry off. Okay, so now that your polish is completely dry, we're going to start working on the background pattern. We're going to work on the black lines you see there on the background. You're going to need your nail art polish with a thin tip brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing three lines. I'm going to do one in the middle and then two on the sides. So I'm going to thin out my brush and I'm going to start by placing the first stripe dead smack in the middle. And I don't want to block you guys or shadow you guys, but all I'm going to do is that one in the middle. And touch. And I'm going to go straight up just like that. You can see it's right in the middle. I'm going to add two more, two more stripes on the sides next because we're trying to work on that pattern. So next I'm going to do my next stripe. I'm going to do it touch and I'm going to go straight up and try to go as straight as you can. That is very important when it comes to these pattern designs. Not perfect but just as straight as you can do it. Next I'm going to do the last stripe on this side the one that goes up and down, so I'm going to all the way to the top. So we've done three stripes, three stripes there, that's all we've done. The next thing I'm going to do is, we're going to go now side to side. So I'm going to do a stripe up towards the top and then one on the bottom, and if we can fit one in the bottom that will be fine too. We'll see how many we can fit. We've gone up and down, now we're going to go side to side. So I'm going to thin out my brush, and I'm going to start doing the stripe on the side. And this one's a little bit tricky for me, so I'm going to go line by line. I'm really bad at doing straight lines, and I've told you guys that before. So I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to try to do it as straight as I can. Because like I said, when it comes to these designs, it is important that you try to do it as straight as you can. And I noticed I did it a little bit slanted, but... Hopefully at the end it won't show. Just try your very best to do them straight. Like I said, that's a little bit difficult for me because I have such a shaky hand. So I'm going to do the second one down here. I'm going to go straight. And I'm going to keep going straight until I get to the other side. So we've done a series of lines there. So that's what we've done. That's all we've done so far. Those lines that you see some going, two going sideways and then two of them going up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow this to completely dry. Now that our black stripes are completely dry, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the white stripes. So the white stripes we're going to do them in between the black lines going up and down and then side to side. So We've done three stripes going up and down, and I said two previously, but it's three, and then two side to side. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your nail art polish with the thin tip brush, the white one now, and we're going to, in between the lines we made, we're going to do a stripe. So we're going to start down here, and we're going to go up, and we're just going to do two of those lines. 
We're going to clean out our brush. And we're going to go up and down in between this one, in the middle, and straight up. So we've done two lines in between. Maybe I can do the first one a little bit darker. Because the second one looks a little bit darker. So I'm going to try and darken the first one up a little bit. But it's up to you, depending on how light you want them. So the next thing we're going to do now that we've gone up and down is now we're going to go side to side. In between the black stripes we made, we're going to go side to side using the white polish. So I'm gonna thin out my brush. And this top line's a little bit tricky, but try to go as take your time. And all we're doing is we're striping the middle. Just like that. We've done the top line. I'm going to add a little more so I could do the bottom line. And now we're going to do the middle of this one. So all we're doing is going across. That's all we're doing, just going across, which might sound simple, but like I've told you guys, this is the hardest thing for me to do is straight lines. If you're good at it, this design will be very simple for you to do. Okay, so I'm going to try and go over it again. Okay, so that's what we've done. We've crossed, we've crossed back and forth just like we did with the black polish. So we're pretty much done with that. One thing you can do is you ha if you have the shorter nails, you can go all the way down with the design and just do your complete nail. Or if you don't want to add the pearls and the rhinestones, then you can just add a silver line or a black line or maybe even a dotted pattern to finish off the look. But I'm going to be adding the pearls and the rhinestones you see there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to polish my nail with a clear polish and I'm going to be using a series of stones. So I have my 1mm blacks, my 1mm pearls, my 4mm pearls, and then I have my 1mm, uh, I'm sorry, these are 2mm's. 2mm, 2mm, 1mm, and then the big pearls are 4mm's. So that's what we're going to be using to outline the French manicure. So I'm going to polish my nail and remember I said if you have a nail polish that bleeds into the color or that smears then you don't want to apply the polish until your color is completely dry okay so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some nail polish to my paper I'm going to get my dotting tool and the first one I'm going to place is going to be the big pearl you see there so I'm going to dip it into the nail polish I'm going to pick my big pearl and I'm going to place it right there on the side just enough to give me space so that I can add a little one on the side on that side I'll be adding I'll add a black rhinestone right there on the other side I'll add a red one next I'll add a pearl and then uh, we can add a black one now and this is a little bit bigger and then at the end we can probably add we'll add a red one another red one so you can add depending you can make the pattern match to all your nails or you could give it a, a unique pattern well that's it you guys this is the look. It's very simple to get done. Like I said, um, put your own style into it. If you don't want the pearls, then you can just remove the pearls. I hope you guys like it. Try it out using your favorite colors. Be safe, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.